Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14942. Uh, this new release includes uh, a number of uh, visual changes and features that will be part of the uh, Redstone 2 update coming in 2017. There's quite a few things going on so let me just get right into them. So the first thing you're going to see on this build is that now we have uh, an updated uh, start menu. Uh, now we have an option to uh, disable, uh, to hide the all apps list. And so you will have uh, two buttons on on the left rail where you can switch between the pin tiles and, and all apps, as you can see right here. And that option actually comes disabled by default, but you can go to the, uh, to the settings app and then just go to personalization and then go to start and then you will see the new hide app list uh, in a start menu so if you disable that you will see that we have the uh, all um, uh, start menu view with the two with the two sections but when you come right here and enable the um, uh, the option when you go back you will see that you will be presented with the um, uh, with the pin tile section by itself which you can also expand this like before and then you can switch to the uh, uh, all apps list which you can expand so like even if you have if you expand this and then go back and you see you can expand um, another minor change going on here is that when you go to let me see let me go to the store and let me try to install an app um, let's see Now, supposedly, when we go back to the uh, to the start menu, now you're going to see a number, a badge with a number that it tells you that you have an app uh, recently installed. So, if you click the um, uh, the button and then you go to the list, it will disappear. Uh, you know, it's just uh, nice that you have an option, so you can tell right away that you have an app installed if you install them and then you forget. So, it's an easy way to to get to your apps um, okay so now that we're on the uh, settings app let me show you that when we um, go to devices and now we see that uh, the mouse and now we have a mouse and touchpad that in separate their two different uh, pages and that's because Microsoft is adding uh, new improvements to the touchpad to make it more um, accurate when you use it, um, but um, the company decided to uh, to separate the two. And you're not going to see much going on here, just a reset button, but you do uh, have um, uh, under the hood um, improvements to make it more accurate when you use gestures and you uh, right click or single click. All right, so uh, now let's move on to another uh, setting and that will be on on privacy when we go to privacy now we have a new tasks uh, page that allows you to control the access um, the app access to to tasks and and as you can see right here uh, the mail app, the mail and calendar apps and other built-in apps have um, uh, direct access to the task and you can modify that but if you have different apps you can come here and a lot of these allow uh, uh, access to your tasks. Now let's go to update and security and then we go to Windows Update and now we have a new uh, tweak, a new improvement on the uh, active hours uh, settings. If you don't know what acti active hours is, it's just um, just an option that allows you to tell the operating system when you're using um, the, uh, the computer so it will not it will not suddenly restart the um, uh, the computer just to finish installing uh, the operating system so uh, when this feature was released uh, we only have um, you could only set up up to 12 hours but now it's being expanded to extended to 18 hours but this is only for Windows 10 professional 
uh, Enterprise Education and it's already available for the uh, Windows 10 mobile. So that means that those running the uh, home version of the operating system can only uh, uh, set active hours up to uh, 12 hours and one more thing that's going on on the um, on Windows update is now that you have a new icon let me see if I can show it to you uh, this is a new icon it's hard to see but it's like a Windows logo with a refresh um, icon in the middle and you will see that on Action Center and when there is a when a new update has been uh, installed on your computer and it pops up uh, and the toast notification pops up you will see that um, icon as well and if you go to uh, home and then we go to system and we go to notifications I think yes now uh, that's the icon actually that's that's a better view of the icon but now you can also control the notifications for Windows update here too so you can click there and and choose the um, uh, the notification settings for Windows update all right so that's what's going on with the um, uh, on the settings app. Also on Windows 10 14 942, uh, there's uh, there's a few improvements on Navigator, uh, which now introduces a uh, field navigation and a few and a number of uh, shortcuts that you can use. Another new improvement that we're going to see on Windows 10 is happening on services, and you will go in, you're going to see that on Task Manager when you open. Uh, the advanced view and then you start to see a lot of service hosts on your computer as you can see right now that, that I have a lot of them so the um, the deal with this is that in the past uh, to save um, uh, memory uh, Windows used to uh, group services a lot of them into one uh, single service host um, the problem with that is that uh, okay it's safe memory but if one of the uh, services instead of the uh, service host fail uh, all the participating all the ser all the services inside of that service host will also fail so as computers start getting uh, more powerful and memory is, is not longer an issue for many devices uh, what's happening now is that a Microsoft is just uh, changing the way that how services work on Windows 10 so now they're going to get a split and separate it into their own um, service but you're still going to see some of them some important services critical services still group uh, grouped uh, together like we see right here but if we go to some other services you're going to see them separated so now if one fails the other ones they're not going to fail anymore so this brings uh, a few new advantages to windows 10 which according to microsoft this allows um uh, for if like if one survey fails uh, the, uh, the other ones won't fail and it will make it easier for tech savvy users computer technicians uh, it personnel to uh, to see more detailed information of each uh, service uh, for each service that before uh, was impossible and also uh, it will help um, uh, users or uh, engineers and technical users to uh, pinpoint the problem and solve them more quickly uh, knowing you know what ser what service ex exactly what service is failing and also it improves security according to Microsoft on Microsoft Edge uh, there is nothing going on just a, a few improvements uh, just on the build numbers being bumped up to 14 uh, 942 but nothing else has changed there are some internal um, uh, improvements to uh, low, low websites uh, a little bit faster and some behind the scene uh, small improvements on this Windows 10 Redstone 2 update, we're also going to see some changes on the uh, registry editor. So when you open the uh, the editor, now we're going to see a new address bar that will make it a lot easier for uh, users to navigate the keys instead of having to spend one by one, which can take a long time and it, will, and it could get confusing. So now you just come right here and you can type the path or just uh, paste the path and it will 
take you to uh, that place so let's see if I do that and as you can see it will expand right away and you will get there in no time so um, that's that's what's new on the uh, registry editor and also you will you notice that uh, there are new icons for each key before it was like an open folder and now it's just a, a closed folder so that's basically what's what's going on on the uh, on, on the uh, registry editor on Windows 10 build 14942 now there is also an updated version of the um, uh, photos app and now you can see right here this is a new user interface now we have a horizontal um, navigation uh, bar which before was just on the um, on the side which um, makes it easier to get access to your collection albums and folders and now if you need to access to settings you have to click your profile name and then just access to settings now when you uh, you will see now that uh, there's like a new effect like a zoom in and zoom out uh, effect when you're uh, hovering with the mouse on a picture and if uh, what else um, uh, if you um, are uh, viewing the picture you can do this like if you have uh, set as a default um, when you double click an image you will get the um, uh, this uh, quick view which uh, works a lot faster and now you can you can have the controls to move back back and forth between images uh, right here in the middle before it was on the side which there were like small buttons and it was kind of like complicated to uh, to move between pictures and you can also click the um, uh, plus button right here to add uh, the picture to an album you can delete it and then you can click right here to full screen that image um, that's basically all that's new on this version of uh, of Windows 10. Remember to like the video, uh, share it, uh, leave a comment, and I just uh, hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.